Michael Connolly, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much, Michael. And um, my thanks to all of you for this honor. You know, I, I've spent a lot of time in the last few days thinking about how I got here. The long hours, the blank pages. Most people think that writing is a solitary profession, that we spend our days in our imaginary worlds, fighting, loving, dying. But we don't do it alone, because anything that's good in our writing comes from truth. And the truth is, I'm here because of the people in my life. Mother, you will always be a star in my eyes. And Alexis, you amaze me every day. You two are my red-headed pillars of unconditional love. To my friends at the 12th Precinct, you let me in. Especially you two, Javier, Kevin. You made me your brother in arms, and I thank you for that. And Kate, seven years ago, I thought I would never write again. And then you walked through the door, and my whole world changed. You were right. You said I had no idea. But now I do. This is because of you, because of us. Always. That was a lovely speech, darling. Oh, well, I was inspired. Castle, who's going to be your inspiration if Beckett becomes state senator? Yeah, you won't be able to follow her around anymore. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'll write a political thriller next. Ooh, I would so read that. <laughs> Beckett, if you do run, I'll help with your campaign. Thank you. It's a pretty big step, Kate. Have you decided what you're going to do? Not yet, but whatever it is, I'm looking forward to the adventure. One thing's for sure, things are going to change. Well, I know one thing that'll never change. What we all have. A toast to us. It's the precinct. There's been a murder. Oh.